Good day viewers, welcome back to Metal Scatter Shadow Blade. And I'm Gregor Frank. And now we got a lot of stuff to do. So this is in the rest of the room. Oh, good enough. Just like a four rooms left. This is better than that. Or Jack would be precise. A memo? Alice. Let's go. To where? The factory, the rescue center, the general store, the dawn. I already I already checked the dawn. Alright. Look the same as usual. A lot of books are thing all over the place. Yeah, it looks like the experimental devices are all cleaned up. I don't see anything noticeable around the desk too. I feel like a robber. Maybe we shouldn't have snuck in, in like this. Alice, I wonder what's back there. There's a strange screen position behind that device. You're right. I'm surprised. I haven't noticed that before. Maybe it's because the lamp around there keep our eyes on the other stuff instead. I see so many to notice now because the lamps are off. A door. Let's see what's inside. Okay. What's inside? What is this place? Hmm? A lot of computers. Look at the, all these monitors. Is that the area inside the jail? It doesn't look like there are various area on display here. Why would someone make a room like this? I don't know, but it feels as if whoever left that message wanted us to find this place. Let's check around. In the first place, why are these monitors in each of the areas? I don't recall seeing any cameras around. Hidden cameras. Well, even if there, there were, what for? Maybe they're, they're there to make sure we're safe. But if that the case, it wouldn't hurt to let us know that would reassure us too, I suppose. I can't seem to stop thinking of what really is going on. Maybe we can speak to the, ask the professor. Maybe not. We were trespassing after all, I guess. If this is supposed to be a secret, then it's dangerous for us to take action on this now. You're right. Let's keep this to ourselves until we have more information. I think that's a good idea too. Who and what is the control room for anyway? What's that all about? I have no idea, but something <coughs> weird's going on in this area. Welcome. Hello. I wonder what the professor is researching that he did Alice in my blood sample. Ah, Jack, what brings you to the laboratory? Oh, nothing really. I just curious about what the professor was researching. I see, same here. Miko did say it was going to take a while to come up with an Antibiotic. What's that? Some sort of parasitical for, uh, for sick people. Yeah, she did say that, didn't she? I just hope our blood helps the professor too. Say Jack, since we're here, why don't we ask him? Sounds good. I guess it wouldn't hurt as long as we don't disturb whatever he's doing. Yeah. Um, professor? I'm coming in. Ah, Jack and Alice, what timing? Is there something you need from us? Take a look at this petty dish here. What is it? It looks like some kind of flesh. Does it ring a bell? Does it? The flesh you see here is from a core you brought back. The core? The core has a flesh? 
Yeah, I didn't even notice that. It looks like it's still alive. Indeed, the core continues to live inside this petri dish. Look at how it can stay alive even as a sample piece of flesh. Simple piece. It can't be. The core? And in this vial, that's our blood sample you got from the both of you. Now then, take a closer look. First, I would add a single drop of Jack's blood in, in the dish. The core is wailing. It shrunk. The core shrunk and wails from Jack's blood. Sad, considering the core can escape the dish. Now then, I will add Alice's blood. Something is growing out of the core, from the core. It's drinking Alice's blood? Yes, the core reacts negatively to Jack's blood. When it, when, when it, is, it seems to accept Alice. Because Alice's blood made it. And, I, and Jack's not. And yeah. that's my voice. Did you notice not only does the core mimic the characteristics of organic, organic and ignorantic materials, its will can also be reconstructed as well. This is the truth behind mimicry. mimicry. So that's, that's mimicry is the first thing I've seen something like that. Since the, since the jail's maturation, it has established to the point where it does, it does mimic as activity but that applies to the inside of the jail which shows lower grown than the outside yes the inside seems to have come to an end in its growth cycle similar to any other creature if we can influence the horse mimicry we may be able to control the jail help with our escape Control the jail. I'm not surprised at Alice's reaction after seeing that. Um, Professor, I don't see that Marchant can. Marchant that was held here before. Oh, Dad, we were done with it, so we handed it over to Towa to take care of it. Mr. Kadawaki? What did he ask him, ask him to do? That aside, doesn't it stimulate your interest how much of Alice's blood is needed for it to mimic? I... Jack, let's sleep. I'm a bit tired. Ah, how rude of me. Seeing such in inspiring result is something that may be too much to handle. We're sorry to have bothered you, Professor. Ah, come back anytime. I do have many more interesting things to show. Please, that's quite enough. I don't want to see that's anything. That's something else. I don't want to see anything anymore. I'm sure that was some quite important to to his experiment, but it wasn't very was it wasn't very pleasant. Exactly. The flesh in the dish. The merchant laughed with my voice. Alice, I'm fine. It's just that it scares me. Yeah. Say Jack, you heard the professor say that he handed the marching over to Mr. Kadowaki, right? Yeah, it sounded like if he handed it over to, to be discarded or something. In there such a facility like the around here where Mr. Kadowaki is stationed in this posted facility? Even if marching was weakened, it still is a threat. So I doubt it was just let loose. Of course, you're right. But it would just bother me. The professor seemed to pull all his emphasis into research with everything else left for, for last. He's so different when he's like that. Definitely not like when we cared for Red Riding Hood. Maybe we should speak to Mr. Kadawaki. Yes, we should. Is there anything else? Come again. You're so creepy, man. I say there's something wrong with that guy. Just thinking about it scares me. Hi, 
Hiya, Jack. What brings you here today? Oh, nothing really. I'm just taking a stroll. You look pretty busy today. Yep, I'm putting together all the things boss wanted here. Can you believe it? He wants little old me to take them to him. I'm no delivery person here. You know, guess I'm just a gopher to him. <laughs> that sucks. Despite what she's saying, she really is attached to, to Haru. Well, I guess having that scary face on his roaming about would be bad. Even merchants avoid him. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> now, th now that's so much. Marchin wouldn't avoid Haru even if he did look scary. <laughs> no, Marchin would be more scary than him. Yeah. You think I'm joking, right? Well, I ain't. In fact, I got that from got got that info from Big Sis Red. Huh? Seriously? Are you serious? Well, the avoiding part may have been a bit too much, but boss isn't really targeted by him. You heard it from Red Riding Hood. You can't be serious, though. Well, boss was part of a search unit before the blood team. If Sis says it, it's gotta be true. I kind of do feel for the merchants. I feel, I mean, I'd rather chase cute girls than an old guy like him. Uh, can merchants tell the difference between cute girls and old guys like him? Oh, you said it. I'm gonna tell Bob that you called him an oldie. <laughs> You're the one who said it first? Yeah. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Well, I best be going now. Is it impossible not not get targeted by Marchin? Maybe I'll speak with Haru about it. <laughs> I see. Marchin is not targeting me, eh? Haven't you noticed that before? Sort of. Well, I'm not sure about it, but maybe. Maybe? Maybe it's because I'm good looking. Even merchants know not to waste a guy like me. <laughs> <laughs> How you say a good looking guy with wearing an eye patch? <laughs> Stop with the silent treatment. Say something. Oh, uh, sorry. At the very least, the old guy is part of the total is totally wrong. Oh, uh, I'm sure she she meant it as a joke. But if Miko heard that you said knowing her, she'd go right into research research about it. Uh, maybe you become our secret anti martian weapon. <laughs> Give me a break. No, I'm gonna be this dissected by the professor and Miko. <laughs> In any case, next one, that one's weird rumor. Next time, bring me something more my speed. You hear? Oh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Aru will never tell me anything more. He'll just try to steer the conversation elsewhere. <laughs> Marchant being unable to choose who they want want to attack or not. Even Mar Oh, hmm? another talk? Even monsters are like that, you know? Hey, it looks like something some something else would like. Why not get it for her? I'll make it cheap. Go ahead and splurge. Uh I don't have much money to splurge. Come on, boss, be a man! Um, I'm not really a boss, so I'm uh, so I'm fine. You ain't gonna nab good gals like that. Come on, Splurge. She has an edge against me. I better change the subject. By the way, remember you told me how you came here? I wouldn't mind hearing how you joined the Dawn. Where'd that come from? You know, the Dawn only brings people here as official staff member. Members, so yeah, you're right. To be honest, when you came here, I was a bit surprised. Yeah, it was surprising for me too, and I felt out of place. I was impressed how everyone knew about your power just by looking at you. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. They only started treating me different differently once they heard how my blood stopped Alice Skelter. In my case, I bet the boss saw how awesome of a girl I am and... Hey, aren't you gonna say something? Don't make me finish that on my own. 
Huh? Sorry! Well, to be honest, I'm not sure why the Don is letting me stay here. Maybe Haru asked the professor to keep you here? Speaking of the professor, he asked me where my name came from when I first got here. Where your name came from? Oh wait, he asked me that too. Anyway, how do you, how do you know where you got your name, Jack? Where I got it? Yes, did your parents give it to you? I don't know. I lost my parents when I was young and I don't really, really remember much from, from then. I see. Interesting. He looked really disappointed when I told him, told him my grandpa gave me my name. Grandma Where gave him. Grandma gave me my name. Is there something about where we got our names that that matters to him? I thought I thought the boss afterward, and he said it not to let it bother me, and he teach me his trade. Now that I think about it, guess guess that be the person didn't really want me here. Clara. Well, that just means I need to become a full fledged blood weapon craftsman. I'm gonna make the professor wanna keep me here. I'm sure he'll be able to be one, Clara. I'm rooting for you. What's with the cheer? Not like I'm gonna make it free for you, yeah? Welcome! Come again! <laughs> I... I meant to change the subject. Thank goodness. Now I get this Ohimi and Hitsuka. Welcome! Even though I still get a bad feeling from those from these guys. Hitsuka. Oh, hello there! It's you again. Is it okay for me to bother you? I have no choice. As Lady Michiru trusts you. Thank you very much. I'll keep that promise I made. You had better. Um, do you mind if I ask something? Is it true that, that you called Michiru's sister? Shoot, I just called her by her name. That's... That's right. I'm she's older sister. What's, what she's trying to say is that we admire Lady Ohime as. Why hide it? Tambalina and the girls know so red know already. Tambalina? So Michiru really is Hitsuka's older sister. Then... Yep. We have our reasons, so I've asked them to keep it secret. You should watch what you say in public. Jack's okay. It's a secret between me and Jack and Tambalina and the girls. <laughs> they really don't sound like bad people. Maybe. But it's probably true there's a huge secret that all order is hidden. Hiding. Come to think of it, I heard Dumbelina Snow White and Sleeping Beauty were raised here. It was nice to have younger sisters. They huddled around Chi, and Chi smiled more back then. I think that's Michiru Natsuka. I know, I know. But they don't come here anymore ever since the professor took them. So sad, right Chi? They have, they have their duty, so it can't be helped. That's right. There's something I want to ask. But I hope now is, now is the right time. Um, you keep saying Chi, but... Chi is as in Chiaki. That is his name, but he gets him best when I say it. So silly, he always just, just the cutest younger brother, hehe. <laughs> Again, we have our reason, which why we ask those three to keep it quiet, keep it quiet too. I won't say anything to anyone else. I would appreciate that. Maybe he really is a nice person. Um, but do you mind if I ask one other thing? What is it? Chiaki. <laughs> Did Tambolina and the others get along with everyone here even though they're blood maiden? I've never thought about it before. Why do you ask? It's because Alice and, and from what I've heard, heard Kaguya went through a lot living with normal people. That's so strange. Everyone who lives here is one and the same. One and the same. Everyone is trying their best to live and seek light from the sun. Michiru, she's quite bit. She was she was quiet, 
but strangely convincing. No wonder people gather around her here. What, what everyone seeks isn't me, it's the light from the sun that will come soon. Is that true? You have many doubts, but you need to move forward in faith. <laughs> One little birdie, two little birdies, I wonder which birdie will fly to the sun. The strongest birdie will go through the wall in the sky, but too close to the sun, and hey, <laughs> you get burned. She's like, she's like this sometimes. It could be that she's pushing herself too much of, of that ohime. I thought she was sharing a prophecy. <laughs> she did share her divine word, words with everyone before, but not like this. Chiaki? I'm sorry, don't let this bother you. Also, I need you to... Right, I won't say anything. Chi, I'm fine, I wish to take a nap. Yes, you. Yes, yes, dear sister. I'm sorry I didn't notice before. Now then, if you excuse us. Come back again, Jack! Ah, uh, yes, sorry to have bothered you. Having doubts, but moving onward with faith. Welcome, come Chiaki. again! Chiaki, isn't that a girl's name? Yeah, Chiaki is a girl's name. Come on, keep your eyes open! Huh? What's going on? Sounds like Red Riding Hood. Let's go! Yes! Come on, it looks like we can still move as we're about to get angry! Haha! <laughs> so sorry, my bad! Red Riding Hood, Mr. Kadawaki! Um, is there a problem? Hey Jack, Alice! Oh, sorry! The kid and the newcomer. Well, this is embarrassing. So I remember their names already. I thought he didn't like us, but I guess it's just that he didn't remember our names. <laughs> well, not a major issue, but. Huh? For a merchant that was supposed to be discarded, becoming a runaway isn't a major issue, eh? Red Riding Hood? Where's your sense of duty? You should know that Marchant sent from Dad needs to be discarded. Sure, fine. It's all my fault. Dad, Dad, Dad. Is that all you can say? Is he purposely going easy against the Marchant? Is it if he was playing with it? Is there something, something you want to say? Say it to my face. Really? Okay then, you see this much in here? I'm tired of these types already. Huh? Oh, what's wrong here? He look different. Yeah, I know. They don't even put up a fight. All they do is moan. If you really want me to work, bring me the one that's worth killing. Get me one that's going to motivate me in actual work. Huh? You sick bastard? Well then, I'll finish this one off myself. Now hold on there. This one is better than nothing. I'm going to kill myself. Whatever. Let's go, Jack. Alice. Uh huh? I'm okay? Mr. Kadawaki will be leaving now. Sorry for the ruckus. Must have been a bad day. Come back again later. I'll just get back to work. He's different. If you ask me, I think he was a psycho killer. Yeah. I heard that Mr. Kodawaki was handling the marching that the professor finished studying. He's playing with it, isn't he? Yep. All the time? Yep, pretty much that's his pastime. Um, does the professor know? He just let Toa handle everything, so... God. <laughs> that hurts. Oh my god, he is a psycho killer. He is a psycho. He's really not... He's really not a bad person. I highly doubt that. I think he is. Aside from that... Come on, you can do better than that. I don't wanna hear this anymore. <laughs> Even if it was a marching, that was really disturbing. Why is Mr. Kodawaki doing that? 
Oh, not again, man! Something's wrong with that guy. He, he, I think he's a psycho killer. Say, Jack, let's stop him already. You know how, how, how the captured Martian are being disposed of, right? Of now, right? You mean how Mr. Kadawaki is killing them for pleasure? Yes. It didn't seem like that that back then, but I wonder if that's really true. What do you mean by that? Something didn't feel right about Mr. Kadawaki and the Dining Hood back then. When Mr. Kadawaki noticed us watching them urges, it feels like he acted out of the whole scene. Yeah, it just felt like that that it wasn't the same Mr. Kadawaki that we know. I'm not sure about that. We didn't re really see the marching being killed or anything either. I just think we should know how the capture marching are being discarded. I see, I guess we should learn a bit more about it. Let's go and ask Mr. Kadawaki. Don't ask that psycho killer. No, no, no. I think he's back somewhere. Hello there, Mr. Kadawaki. Hey there. <laughs> I see you two together again. What brings you here? That's the uh, Mr. Kadawaki we know. Well, can we ask you something? Sure thing. Is it okay if we talk while I feed her? Aww. A cat? I didn't, I didn't know you own a cat, Mr. Kadawaki. I don't own her. She was chased by a marchion and ran in here. So she's more like a dance pet. Our guys here put together some scrap for her to eat. Um, what's her name? She doesn't have a name yet. Got any suggestions? A name? <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know if you come up with a good one. Maybe I can help bring food for her too. Yeah, I guess we can. Really, that would help a lot. Did you hear that? Hey now, eat slowly. Tastes good, right? I can imagine Mr. Kadawaki acting like he, how he did before. So what is it again you want to ask me something, right? Uh, well, about the marchant. Do you usually treat them like that? You know, like the last one? Oh, that. I heard until it couldn't move, then cut it to pieces, so oh, all's good now. Uh, uh. If you add, I think he has a side personality. I'm pretty much in charge of handling all the matches to be discarded. You should have seen one before that. It lasted a while, not as much energy, but boy, it was fun. Why don't you just end it quickly? Why go through all the. All the hassle. Oh come on! Stop with that face of yours. There are enemies, and they deserve to be treated so. But torturing them like that isn't necessary. Uh, hey, that's not fair. You both get to have all the fun, but not me. This place is real bore. Jack. Yeah, I'm sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Kadawaki. Mm, no problem. I was just taking a break anyway. Next time, send me a new one to kill. I'm counting on you. Let's go, Alice. Yes. A shift personality. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I want to learn more too. I don't understand why he's doing that. Why isn't anyone stopping him? Does everyone think the same way as he does? Doesn't anyone else know about this? Well, anyway. please take a look. I'm not taking any of this anyway. <laughs> Is there a come again? Is there more? Here's the lobby. <laughs> Go on. And that and that should cover this man. That. Thank you for the food supply. <laughs> Delicious vegetable with a touch of sunlight. Indeed, we're grateful for your continued support. Support, <laughs> support. Lady Mature. Oops, oops, scalded. 
We appreciate what you do as well. We're able to preach the people because of the dawn. I suppose our cooperation is beneficial. We hope we can continue this relationship. They bring food to of unknown origin and we eat it without question. We fight the margin and use their carcasses to create our weapon. We need to do what we can to get out of the situation as soon as possible. Hey, it's Jack! Jack! H Hello! She's acting a lot like a kid now. Lady Michu, please excuse her, Jack. No problem at all. Michu wants to play with Jack. Huh? Seems like she's really fond of you. Do you think so? <laughs> Jack's special, just like how the professor is special to you. What? Those are two different things! Red 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 Hood, don't let what she says bother you. I know, but... Say Jack, does the bluebird go to Jack too? Bluebird? The bluebird tells Michiro a lot of things. The dawn's bluebird... <laughs> the dawn's bluebird? Come on. Come again in time, Jack. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Lady Michiru, if you'll excuse us. Did you see that? She's... She's getting nothing by... Not the year, by the day. Yep. Well, don't let what she so bother... Saw? Bother you, Jack. Okay. The Dawn's Bluebird. What did she mean by that? Michiru was acting really weird too. A lot of things have been going on lately. I wonder if they're all connected. You know, I'm kind of feeling there's something wrong with this Dawn. I gotta feel there's something wrong with the whole Dawn. After seeing all this, the whole Dawn is the problem. I don't know about Haru and Miko, but after me seeing the professor, Clara's fine. Clara's fine, and Mr. Kadawaki. Well, this uh, I gotta think something really wrong with this. I think before that Mr. Kalawa, he was a psycho killer before. What's this feeling? Okay guys, we're out of time, so we'll go to this next part. That really, that is really getting in my head. Yeah, especially that part. It's kind of uh, distracting me a bit. What, do you say you don't want to play this anymore? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's something wrong with the Dawn. They're acting all weird. Professor... Professor and Mr. Kadawaki are the problem, but for Clara, Miko, and Haru, they seem alright. Michirus and Chiak is weird too. Yeah, especially those two. I never had a good feeling from those two from the very begin with. So okay guys, we're out so we'll go to this next next part. When we're going to the down area. Downtown area. Downtown area. So Shadowblade and Dragonfire will go to this the next part of the video. Goodbye. See ya.